What's good everyone? Today we're going to be turning this into this. Let's get to it. Welcome back to another 5 Minute Friday and today we are talking about green screen as you just saw. Now in order to achieve this you're going to need a few things. You're going to need a backdrop, you're going to need a green cloth, and you're going to need a three light setup in order to pull this off. Now you may be able to get away with this with just the one or two light setup and I know we Everybody don't just have three lights sitting around that they could just use. But if you can and you do, it is important to use those three lights. Because uh, you want to make sure that you light your backdrop and you also want to light your subject. So, that, that's very important. The first thing you want to do once you gather all your material is set up your backdrop. When you're doing this, make sure your subject is standing at least one or two steps away from the backdrop. Uh, when I first started out, I would put my subject right up against the backdrop and that would lead to a lot of spill onto my subject. And that's hard to remove and post. So it's important to allow a good distance between the backdrop and your subject so that you could then key out that color and post and it won't be on your subject. Um, once you finish with your setup or your backdrop and you got your subject in place, you want to get your lighting correct. Now this should be fairly easy because we talked about lighting as well in one of the other 5 Minute Friday episodes as well. You just want to put that key light on top of your subject and then put your two fill lights on the backdrop and make sure they're evenly lit. So when you go into post, it's going to make your life a lot easier if your backdrop is one solid color. So that's why it's important to have three lights like I mentioned earlier. Now if you only have two or one, you may be able to still do this but it's going to take a little extra work. So now that we got the basics down, we got the first two steps down, let's jump onto the computer and look at what we have to do further to pull this effect off. Okay, so now we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro and I just want to give you guys like a step-by-step -step guide that if you follow along, you'll be able to get to this point that where I'm at right now on this video with just your subject and a clean black um, background. So uh, the first thing I want to make note of is when I shot this video, I purposefully uh, made some mistakes just to show you guys that you can still like get to that final image even if you don't get everything correct. Now, of course, you want to get everything correct because it's going to make your life a lot easier. But just in case you already have this footage and you're like, what, what am I going to do with this? So let's get to it. Um, the first thing I did was mask out the parts of the video that I didn't need, uh, being as though that I... Um, shot this too wide I, I'm gonna go ahead and just mask this out just the part of the video that I want to keep and then you're gonna see that everything around it is just going to uh, get cut away so that's what I did to this step right here if I take off this effect so once I did that this was the video that I had once I got here I um, then used this effect called ultra key you can see it right here uh, you can find that in the effects section if you go to effects and you just type in ultra key you'll be able to just drag that onto your clip go back to editing you would then click this eyedropper tool and then click on the part of the image that's green and what that does is it takes that green sample and it just takes all the colors that's close to that sample and remove it from the video now you may have to look under this matte generation uh, tab and you will have to play with this to get it the way that you know that you want because once you click on it it's not going to just come out specifically the way that it just did so once you figure out this section you will then have an image that looked like this and once you get here you're pretty much good to go you could um, find whatever background you want to find and just add it on to it now as you can see i'm gonna take it a step further i see that we have a little bit of time left so most people will be fine with this they'll just leave it here and then that will be like the end you know they'll position it up make it look good and that'll be the end but if you really want to sell this you want to go ahead and throw on a quick color grade to make your background match the top of your footage and to take it one step further you could then add uh, your cinema bars just to make it you know all one clean image and like really make it look professional but it's pretty straightforward it's pretty simple even if you mess up with shooting like I showed you the first time you can still save your footage and get an image like this at the end of the day so we reached out five minutes for the day I'm not gonna hold you guys too long 
Um, I'm gonna make a video probably later on down the line to go in this a little deeper and just show you guys some more tips and tricks just to make your life a little more easier when doing this. So thank you guys for tuning in again. It's been another great five minute Friday. I hope you guys learned something. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Friday.